what, what the lady's talking about. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, family? The parents of a seven-year-old girl has been arrested for prostituting her for drugs. 37-year-old James Stewart is facing five charges, including human trafficking, criminal sexual contact of a minor, child abuse, contributing to the delinquency of a minor, and promoting prostitution. Terry Sanchez, the girl's mother, has also been arrested and charged with child abuse and contributing to the delinquency of a minor. The Albuquerque police say Stewart forced his daughter to perform sex acts on both men and women. The New Mexico Attorney General's office opened an investigation into the prostitution of the young girl on April 18th after a nurse from the girl's school said that she thought the seven-year-old was the victim of sexual assault. The school staff became concerned when the girl would regularly fall asleep in class. When asked why she was so tired, she said, Mom made me hustle last night. Another teacher said the girl showed up to school wearing overtly sexually provocative clothes with high heel shoes, press-on nails, makeup, and her hair was done. An incident in November occurred when a teacher noticed the girl smelled like urine and found dried blood in the girl's underwear. Investigators later discovered the girl and her family were homeless. Both she and her eight-year-old brother were placed in child, youth, and families department custody on Tuesday. The criminal complaint said that the father would make his daughter perform sexual acts on his friends, and in exchange for performing sexual acts on these men and women, he would receive weed, pipes, and other gifts. The mother, the criminal complaint alleged, hit the girl often and made her steal other people's wallets. Wow, seven years old. And they didn't tow that girl life up. Can you imagine how much therapy is going to take for her to just get through the day? I mean, just get through a normal day. They messed that girl up. Now, before I go any further, I gotta salute the teachers, the staff at the school, those people that took action. See something, say something. And maybe they could have did something sooner, but who knows? I, I'm still kind of stuck on the teacher finding blood in the girl's underwear. I mean, you know, she went that far to check her underwear. I, I don't know if that's appropriate. But, you know, good thing she did. But wow, man, that girl is gonna be messed up, man. She got some horrible parents. And the parents ain't the only ones need to go down. All of those adults that participate, it's a lot of people should just die. A lot of people need to die for this one. It's cold-blooded because the children, they really are the future. That should be legislation passed that uh, says that if you hurt a child, you harm a child, then you really get it. You get punished for real because when you hurt these kids, you're sending them out into the world. And that's how you get your dealing roofs. That's how you get your your Waffle House shooter. That's how you get your Columbine shooters and your Paducah, Kentucky shooters and your Vegas shooters. That's where these people come from. Hurt people hurt people. Drugs will make you do some strange things. And the police got their dumb asses running around here answering calls for black people stopping to take pictures for a home they invested in, sitting inside of Starbucks, barbecuing in the park, 
walking while black, sitting while black, sleeping while black, all that dumb ass shit. You got people out here doing serious damage to folks. But this is America. No more talk. What the haters talking about? Yeah.